uh, Peach versus Palutena. Now, the thing is, Frozen does also have a Peach. He's playing against Ling Ling, one of the Peaches from Connecticut. Yeah, one of the Peaches that take him. Like hmm? the Ditto, huh? Well, no, I'll, he doesn't like the Ditto, and also I think his Palu is better than his Peach at this point in time. I'd like to see him play Peach more, but I, 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 I personally think his Palu is better. Correct. So. Here we go, jumping into the set. Ling Ling, one of the players to take a, one of the peaches to take a set off Isim at Pound when he got triple eliminated um, <laughs> by Peach. Jesus. And uh, so Ling Ling is like a, a, a contender, right? He's a really strong Peach. He's been, been in the game for a long time. And he's been no stranger to visiting Xeno. We always like to make the joke whenever Connecticut comes to visit like Ling Ling. We always just be like, okay, we got to defend it from him. I mean, he's trying to make his way to bracket. Already got knocked out of loot uh, out of winners, pretty earlier on in bracket. Now sitting here, loser of this going for seventh. But Frozen's got a pretty strong lead, but the stage controls in Ling Ling's favor. Back air off the platform. Good recovery from Ling Ling. Even the audience was gasping in the background. Forward tilt goes for the neutral air. Knowing he knew exactly when the float was going to end. Going off super deep for the forward air, but that parasol is really strong. Good use of the aerial, gets the kill. Opts to go for the warp, cancels on these PS2 stages, gets the Nair Train going into the up air, 32 damage clean. Okay. Waiting just to try to go for this ledge trap, guess is wrong, he gets pushed off stage. Maybe go for like a little more, uh, less committal option next time, we'll see what happens. Gets caught by the crown, for air, Ling Ling's time to shine. Thought he was going to warp onto the stage. He was trying to cover a lot of options by running back to center stage, just in case. Palutena does have that ability to go for something like that. Especially on the likes of PS2. Tries to go for the neutral air right onto the center stage. I believe that was a stitch. I'm not entirely sure, but it sounded like it hurt. Forward throw. Gets the kill. 2-2. Two to two. 15 all. Here we go. Tries to go for the counter. It was a good guess, but in the process, because he went for the counter, he just ate so much damage. 62, climbing up to 77 plus stage control, edge guarding. Frozen trying to get back onto the stage. His pressure's really good out of Ling Ling, calling out the grabs again and again, or the shields rather. And just like that, he gets back onto the stage. I want to point out that Frozen ate 94 damage because he went for a risky counter. It's all safe. Anyways, 85 damage on Ling Ling. Oh my god, held it a little bit too long, was hoping. He was definitely expecting Ling Ling to go for like a spot dodge. Because he held, he held that super long. Forward air. Legend, the get up attack. Very risky option. So bold. Yeah, and a shield's going to be a really common option for both players. Both Peach. Oh, he tried to go for an up smash. I saw him ready that. Gets caught by the turn up, forces out a pretty early warp. How did he avoid that neutral air? I am stunned. Back air shows off the hips, 160%, gets back onto the ledge. Neutral air off of the double jump. Here we go, 112%. Rosa could easily try to go for this back throw. Gets it because he dashed right back in. Maximum rage on the edge of the stage. He's going to find his mark at 112%. And just like that, Ling Ling's going to bring this back to one stock apiece. Stock for stock, tit for tat. Here we go. Neutral air, forward air. 40 damage. I mean, that's the thing. This second. Every time Luling spawns right back in, we got a neutral air with his name on it from Frozen. Already taking up a lot of damage. Oh no, he's off stage. Use the parasol. Be able to poke through the stage in case you're standing a little bit too close to that holding shield. Good use of that down tilt. I like that. I think he was close enough to catch a ledge get up too. Or get up attack rather. Good avoidance of that explosive flame without committing your, your resources, but oh my. Okay. 102%. Okay. Neutral air puts him at 33, 116. Try to catch this landing with an up air. Barely nicks him. Gets the kill, gets the game. And we're going to see ourselves with the counter pick coming out from Ling Ling. Probably going to be staking around with the Peach. But the question is, what stage are we going to? We already got a town and city. Oh, I'm sorry. That is Yoshi's story in Final Destination getting all locked down. So we're going to go to a little more intimate stage. We've got Smashville up to deck here, that middle platform. Gonna do wonders. The thing is, that's also a really good stage for Palu. Allows uh, Frozen's gonna be able to go for a lot of teleport cancels in the middle of the stage. Based on that platform placement alone. Got that, that killer soundtrack coming out as we're gonna jump into it. All right, we got some turnips. 
Uh, okay. That that was a that was like a misinput from Lingling. Ling. He put himself into a he was trying to go for like a flow cancel or something and just ended up giving himself a landing lag for Frozen to capitalize on it. I like that option. Doesn't really go for jab too often out of a uh, landing like that. Ooh, got the uh, grab cancels coming out from both players. Here we go, big damage. Try DI's backwards as it becomes a guessing game which way they're gonna DI. He, that is the better direction to go to since it's less of a punish, but. Dash attack, gonna be a clean punish coming out with the down smash into like a get off me move. Okay, Nair. I like that aggressive option from Lily, just getting frozen off of him. Trying to relieve the pressure. Floating as well. Good call out with that down tilt. Poking him up. Tries to go for the Tiger Woods swing. On the ledge. Gets the forward error instead. Knighting the goddess. And bringing this to the next game. But the thing is, the past game, the exact same thing happened. The second someone loses a stock, it does not matter because the next player will then immediately lose. And that's the teleport cancels I'm talking about. Again, puts him at 0%. Starts racking up that damage super quick with just a bunch of neutral errors. Back here on the shield, nice stuff. Good bait out from Frozen, waiting for him to commit to an option for going up there and getting the grab. Forward air coming out from Ling Ling. Wants the down air, can't get the two frame, applying a lot of pressure, but good answer from Frozen, going for the Nair at his shield. Forces out the double jump with the explosive flame, jumps himself, gets caught by the booty bop and is back on stage. Down tilt catching him before the teleport. Flow cancels, or just floats in general. Can I try to get that neutral air? Wasn't just a hair too slow. Goes for the counter, trying to just push back an aggressive Peach. How many times is he going to go for the Peach Bomber? Nair to try to catch the full jump. 128% on Frozen. Gets back onto the ledge, barely managing it. Accidental footstool coming into play. No capitalization. Back air. Yeah, trying to work back onto the platform. Really trying to guess what direction he's going to go for. I think he thought he was going to try to land on top of the stage. Sniper? With the turn up, gets the kill. Too close to the stage. But just like we saw in these past couple of games, like I see if, if history tells us anything, Frozen's gonna get the kill here in just a second. Oh my god, I thought that was gonna be it. Barely got caught by the explosive flame. Here we go, big damage coming out. At this point, Lingling's gonna be looking for that down tilt to just be a really good combo starter for him at this low percent. Has the ability to attack on a lot of damage. I'm sure Frozen's super aware of it, which is why he's trying to stay airborne as much as he can. Gets caught by the Peach Bomber. No tech coming out, but responds to the back air as using a guard point. Try to get that knockback. Get up attack from the ledge? Hold on a second. History wasn't going to repeat itself for a second, but catches the neutral, gets the kill, but now he's, uh, he's, got, he's, he's bruising a bit. He's at 62%. Nair into Nair into up air. Nope. A little bit too far away. Didn't have the extra platform to try to extend that combo. Only a clean 26 instead. Good tech away. Had the explosive flame to cover uh, the neutral getup. Counter. No punish from Ling Ling. Thing is that Peach Bomber is really safe on shield too. So it's really hard to punish. You just got to like go for a spot dodge or let her whiff. And then go for the punish afterwards. It's, it's, it's very similar to like Sonic's homing attack. You can't let it hit your shield. That was extremely difficult to punish. Dash attack again, has, using that guard point on uh, Palu's shield. Forward smash, super greedy is gonna pay the price. He went completely vertical, 90 degree angle upwards off of a forward smash. Peach exclaiming that this is fun indeed. Game three, Frozen's counter pick here. What's going on, guys? How's it going? I'm just big chilling here by myself. Hope you guys are having a good day. Before we jump into game three. They're take, he's taking a hot second to try to ban the second stage. Ling Ling's banned PS2, and he, he, he's like, hmm. This could be the moment that decides the set, even though Frozen is definitely going to just take him to a triplat. 
And he's like, do I want to play in the triplot where... He's literally picking, do I want to play on Battlefield or Yoshi's Story? Oh, he definitely did not pick that. Now Frozen has a choice. And he chose Kalos. Kalos. Which is wow. a good stage. <laughs> yeah. Wait, when you said that, I was thinking, wait, he's not going to go to Pallet Triplat. We got a Kalos uh, Pokemon League coming out. Able to get those platform cancels while trying to recover. I get Y1 to try to change up the pace a bit. I this kind was of way off base. My bad. <laughs> it's all good. I was rolling with it. Final game. Winner of this is going to move on to loser's quarters. Loser's going home with a seventh place finish. Yikers. Okay, Nair. Good conversion. Was he dying in? <laughs> Actually, that might have been true. Here we go, Nair. Taking on a lot of damage. At this point, both players playing super safe. Ling Ling. I'd say eating a lot of damage off that little com combo that Frozen got off right out the gate. And now you see him playing super casual, super calm. Winning back does not overcommitting to anything. Just playing, trying to play reactionary. You see him going for the shields. Going for a lot of shields, actually, and attempting to go for neutral airs afterwards. And speaking of which, Ling is going to capitalize on those shields with a grab. Going over the dash attack again. Waits for the shield. Gets the grab once more. Waits for the teleport to come out. I'm pretty sure Frozen wanted to teleport cancel that, but whiff. But uh, no, 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 no significant punish. Explosive flame. I like that. I like that. Ling's really good at avoiding the explosive flame. Just like pushing away instead of like expending his resources, like air dodge, like double jump. To avoid the explosion. Down Frozen's got to be careful with these big reads. Explosive flame off stage to give himself some breathing room and steals advantage just like that. Li Ling air dodging through the ledge, killing himself. Unfortunate. Frozen's going to carry this a long way. Forward air. Li Ling can still bring, it, bring this back after that SD. It's insanely possible. Forward air pushes him off stage. Forces out the double jump with that turn up throw. Frozen remembered last time that he got nicked and died immediately for it. Not too big of a punish off of that, just a nair into a forward air. Back throw, going for the booty bob, put him off stage. 150% maximum rage in Frozen's favor. Might mess with his combos a bit. Retreating back air, just to try to play it safe. He recognizes that he's bleeding hard. One swing away from dying. Good fadeaways. Lily's really hungry for the grab. I think it's because Frozen's doing a lot of shields, which is why Ling Ling is attempting to go for said grab right afterwards. Here we go. Waits for the spot dodge. That shield looking mad, mad small. And he actually got the big punish on a Peach Bomber. Often go for the Nair immediately. Barely grabbing onto that ledge. Somehow surviving. 163% throws out the explosive flame to force out the double jump. He's going to come in, get the dash tag, get the kill. And two stocks apiece. Ling Ling at 100. Mans is hurting. But it is Peach. All Ling Ling needs is one down tilt, one combo starter, and the CC damage can just find its way. But he's not going to go for turn up throws instead. There we go. Forces out the shield with the turn up. Good DI mix up from Frozen. Every single time he's been DIing back, expecting Ling Ling to go in with the back air. That time he held in, which is, like, honestly, extremely unsafe to see it coming. But good stuff. Gets the back air, has a turn up. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he did. Okay. It disappeared during the explosive flame animation. I was very confused. 123% on Ling Ling. Playing safe, playing solid. Look out for those plants. Down air. Again, trying to throw out that explosive flame. Ling Ling, I would have opted to go for that platform. Could have been devastating. The damage is slowly climbing. And Ling Ling's favorite with a bomb bomb on deck. Throws it right in front of him. Almost breaks the shield. And compared to past Smash games, Peach can just throw Bomb on point blank and not get affected by it, which is why you saw Ling Ling throw it immediately. And just like that, takes away the stock. Yes, he meant nothing. As Frozen needs to find a way to close this out. 136 on Ling Ling. Literally just one neutral air away. Set up, maybe even a grab off stage. We see Ling Ling trying to play the keep away game. Nair. Oh, good DI. Going to be able to survive. 145. Looking for the forward air or an air again. Ling Ling knows that there's no reason for him to approach that edge of the stage right there because Frozen's looking for the grab. The back throw will kill on the edge of the stage. Great DI coming out from Ling Ling, opting to spend his double jump to survive. Give himself a little bit more vertical distance. He can't find this kill. Ling Ling's not giving it to him. Doing a lot of empty hops, trying to bait out the grabs. Just finally gets it with a dash attack. 
My man lives at 174 before we enter our final stocks. Loser going home with a seventh place finish. Who's gonna be? The Frozen or Ling Ling? You're trying to play it safe, hitting the shield with the back air. Dash attack, that's all you need to get this combo started. Calls it the double jump. Explosive Flames in place, avoids the get up attack as well. Almost found his mark with that up air. Would have been an insane combo. Nair pushes him off, tries it. Was that a spike attempt? He was trying to end it right then and there. Okay, good spacing on that backer. Gives him room to breathe, able to back off. Like that escape, the quick burst option. That's the first time I've really seen Lingling go for a jab. Just a quick, like, get off me move. Gets the Nair into a grab combo. Offs go for the ledge, mixes him up. Rolls on the stage. Frozen's not yet done that. Back air, calls out the jump. Going for the option to go for the ledge trap instead of going off stage. Both of them at high percent. That's going to be Frozen flying off stage. Managed to get back onto the stage. 140%. Looking for the back air, looking for the neutral. Get, connects the forward air. Explosive flames point blank and takes away that stock. Frozen's going to be taking out Ling Ling, moving on into loser's quarters by like a thread. And by the way, wasn't even looking at the timer. That was like 1 minute 18 left on that clock. Look at that. Explosive blame. I like how the replay like blinks now. A little purple. A little, makes it more It makes it, hey, this is a replay. Just an FYI. Yeah, it's a nice touch. This I actually happening that. Live. Can I see it one more time in slow-mo? Okay, now, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. Let's go five. Five FIPS. I don't know what FIPS stands for. I'm kidding. So right I know here. What this is where the magic happens. He called out that he's going to go for an aggressive. The thing is, if Frozen would have dove in there and tried to go for like a Nair or something, I feel like the forward air would have came out first from Ling Ling. That would have put him in an extremely good spot because that is very dangerous to go for a point blank explosive flame because if they see that coming, 